Only recently has writing composition undergone substantial changes, and even so, current traditional theory is still prominent in our classrooms. This presentation will look at the current traditional theory. I'm Laura Willis, and I'm going to talk about a few things that make the current traditional theory what is still current and traditional in composition theory. While composition theory begins in ancient Western Europe, current traditional theory uh, begins in the late 1800s. It helps to standardize writing, thereby helping the instructors to know what to teach. So the common five paragraph model comes up. The objective is to have a finished, objective, effective essay for each student. So then it's criticized in the 1970s because CTR focuses on the result and not the process. So other methods began to surface, thereby creating variety in the composition theory market. So you have other things going on besides the current traditional theory. But the current traditional theory really looks at that end result, which of course is why it's criticized. The definition of the current traditional theory is really just a short objective writing style. It's goal oriented, meaning that there's a final product focus. So when we look at a short paper, it has some sort of form that it looks like a five paragraph essay per se, where the student has a topic and they complete the topic. In major theories of teaching writing, Teresa Collins looks at David R. Russell, who states that current traditional rhetoric emphasizes writing in modes, division to words, sentences and paragraphs, mechanical correctness, and the reading of professional models. It does not emphasize communication invention or the process of writing. Furthermore, current traditional theory is firstly imitation-based, meaning that students who write composition in current traditional theory are looking at imitating a product. It's a short product-based completion activity, which ultimately then produces a grammatically correct product at the end. So current traditional theory or CTR focuses then on, here's my paper, it's grammatically correct, it's mechanically correct, it's finished, it matches the model, and here it is, it's done. This is my objective to show you. Third, it's an expected type of writing. We expect our audience to have expectations for writers, and they might expect to be able to read something, and current traditional theory provides a product that readers know what they're looking for. They can find the main idea, they can find the support, and they can understand the objective. So for that reason, CTR is probably fourth present. It's present in classrooms. It is still in our classrooms for composition, freshman composition, high school composition, and students know to expect if I can write this paper, then I can pass another class where I have to write something. So some key terms in this CTR would be process. You would have the process saying the instructor says, this is the process I want you to take. Even though it's not process oriented, they look for that process in the result or the product. So your second key term being result is that product that the instructor asked the student to make. Continuing with key terms, you would then have a product that needs to be graded. So you're having a student who looks at the rubric. The rubric then is the evaluation or the other key term there. So your student says, all right, I need a rubric so I know how to create this writing. And the evaluation will show me how well I did writing the product. With key terms, there are key figures. Reed and Kellogg, they had courses in English. They focus on spelling errors, mechanic suggestions, look at synonyms, product-based standardization, uh, writing books that give a 19th and then early 20th century approach to how English should be written. Similarly, you have Adam Sherman Hill, who believes that writing is science, not art. So there's a mechanical structure, like a recipe to how writing should be completed. There's a proper use of writing. His book, The Principles of Rhetoric, explains this and how writing might look. 
assignments like that five paragraph essay where you have a main idea and support and conclusion and the reader knows what to expect and the writer knows what to write is objective it's somewhat effective and the grammar is pristine so CTR looks back at correcting that grammar and turning in a mechanically correct piece just like the five paragraph essay presents an essay that shows what you did, what the completion was. Something that might be new to add to a current traditional theory would be a social media evaluation where a student evaluates the product that they completed through social media, perhaps a presentation, perhaps a cartoon or something that they can show, this is what I did. Just like the previous assignment was somewhat of an assessment, a true assessment would also be an evaluation by the student where the student evaluates their work and they understand what the product is and what the product says and how the product looks. So this evaluation therefore will give your product based assignment some clarity. And since we have skills that we need to present in terms of CTR, another evaluation or assessment would be a skill chart where the student says, did I learn the skill? What skill did I need to look at? Whether it be grammar, whether it be reading based or whatnot, to say, okay, here's a skill like the comma splice. I'm looking for comma splices. Do I know how to fix them? So therefore, in conclusion, CTR is historically, critically, in definition, by application, and by assessment, something that is product-based. So if a student can understand what they are turning in and what that represents and how it looks when it's in its pristine form, they have completed the current traditional theory and rhetoric.